Well, I'm very surprised. It, the, the book is number one in Canada in environment and ecology. So it's already reached the top of the pile. I don't know if it'll last. I think it will because it's a book that once word gets around how useful it is for understanding these issues, I think it will spread. Uh, it, it, I'm not going to get much help from the media, uh, at least not from the fake news media, uh, but word of mouth is still something that happens in this world. And in, in actually in the United States, now this is my biggest surprise, it's number two. And the, the book that's number one is about braiding grasses or something. So it, you know, it's so not political and so not controversial. Uh, and, and it's probably a great book. I'm not going to take that up myself, but uh, braiding grasses is a, probably an enjoyable pastime. Uh, but uh, my book is number two. So I'm really pleased with that. And it's right out of the blocks. I mean, it's only been on the market for five weeks. And so I'm doing a lot of radio interviews in Canada and the United States to get the word out that way. Interestingly, radio is really the only bastion of conservative thought other than one station on the TV in the United States. <laughs> but, but there's lots of conservative talk radio all across the country. You don't need as big a market, so there's a niche for it. And the, these radio stations are happy to have me come on and explain what my book's about.